Don't have anyone standing around you when you're doing this. Um, when these pieces finally come off, uh, the smaller pieces will be uh, propelled away from you. I try to keep the heel of my hand on the work so I'm stabilising it. Keep a good, good grip on the chisel. Don't keep hitting. Hit once, replace the chisel. Because if it moves, then you'll be making a cut in the wrong place. It may seem slow. This is one sure way to get yourself, get yourself the blade you want. Okay, chisel's done a fair bit of work and it needs, uh, needs a bit of a resharp. As you can see I move it around on the stone a bit because I don't want to end up with a, with a groove all in one place. You can see it's taking a bit of a chip out of the end there. you get the angle right. You don't want a, a sharp edge like a, a knife or on a wood chisel. You need a rather acute edge that will cut and as it cuts pushes the metal apart. More like a wedge. That's what it's supposed to do. Cuts pushes the metal apart. Okay, time to do some more cutting. Come to the end here, I've got to be careful I don't send this blade off into the scrub. There we go. rough edges but the shape is good. I can clean that up with a file. And I can make a start on uh, actually making the knife. Okay now we place that pattern on the blade. Place the centre punch on the mark where the hole has to go. Give it a good solid hit. A smaller hammer and there we go. Let's put a nice dent in it. The centre punch is used for uh, punching the centre of any point that you want to drill in. It gives the drill a head start. Uh, if you don't use a centre punch then the drill will tend to wander around all over the metal and uh, instead of drilling the hole right where you want it. But a centre punch, it gives the drill a good start. We use a pilot hole first. That means you use a small drill bit to, uh, to start the hole off and you work your way up to the size you actually want. Okay, now we're ready to do some file work. <laughs> 